Hi guys, welcome back to House of Hair UK. Hope everyone is safe and well. Today I'm going to be doing something completely different and something that I hope to be doing more of on this channel and that is reviewing products. And today I'm going to be reviewing and testing out the Dyson Super Sonic hair dryer with all of these different attachments as you can see here. And I'm gonna be testing it out on this U-part wig that I have in, which is a kinky straight texture. So I've already washed my hair and I'm gonna be using, I think I'm gonna be using about three of the different attachments to see how well they kind of blow dry out kinky straight textured hair extensions. different attachments and they all have kind of different ways of blow drying your hair and they all have different kind of purposes so the first one that I have been looking at is this wide tooth comb attachment I don't know if you've ever used the Dyson I've never used the Dyson hair dryer before so this is gonna be my first time and I absolutely love the magnet that it has in it and how it just sucks straight onto it and then you just pull it straight off so simple and easy so this is the wide tooth comb they say that this one is better for people who have got kind of afro coily curly type textured hair and it helps to comb through the hair as it blow dries. and i'm going to definitely be using that it then has the diffuser attachment um, I'm not gonna be using the diffuser because my hair is not curly, but they say that the air is a lot more evenly distributed through here. So it actually reduces the amount of frizz that you would normally get when you have a normal diffuser. This is the gentle air attachment. Love that. Just suck straight onto there. So the gentle air attachment is, I would probably use this just to blast over your hair um, when it's super, super wet. I would say this is kind of a gentle blow dry that you would do before you focus on individual areas. So that's what this attachment is. Then I like this one. This one is called the Style, the style Concentrator. So this one is one that's kind of like, it's gonna more focus on where you want the air to be distributed as opposed to going all over the place. This one is going to direct the air into one particular area. So I imagine this with a nice blow dry brush is going to really silk out and smooth your hair. Now this one is their new attachment that they have and this one is called the fly away attachment and you attach it to the blow dryer. You attach it to the blow dryer like this and then you blow dry through your hair like this and it's meant to tame any flyaways that we actually use inside the salon. So the first hair dryer that we always use inside the salon with her looks professional. So I wanna kind of show you guys the sound difference. And then show you guys the Dyson. It's definitely a lot quieter. And the other one that we use is this one, which is the Hershenson. definitely a lot louder as well so it's a much more quieter hair dryer if you want to use it if you've got a little small salon studio space or if you're using it at home then the Dyson hair dryer for sound is definitely better because it's a lot more quieter so the first attachment I'm going to be using is the gentle air attachment and I'm going to go in with a leave-in conditioner heat protector so I will say when using this gentle air attachment, if you don't use a brush at all and you just use the attachment, I felt that my hair was flying all over the place and I felt like it was tangling. Actually, it was tangling. So halfway through blow drying this section, I actually had to stop and go back through with the brush and then continue blow drying. 
So what I would say about this attachment, I did like how the um, the heat and the air was really widely distributed. It was not kind of like directed in just one area. So this large section of hair, I didn't have to actually section that into smaller parts. I could just blow dry this whole area and it actually didn't take very long to blow dry it. Um, but what I would say is that you definitely need a brush with it. If you're gonna be blow drying pinky straight hair or hair this length, um, I just found that it, when I was running my fingers for it, it felt a little bit tangled. So I would probably go in with, blast it with a blow dryer and then maybe run and keep brushing it through as well so that it doesn't tangle. So for the other part of my hair at the back, I'm gonna use the wide tooth comb one. really like how gentle this pick or this wide tooth comb is on the hair even when i encountered some little tangled bits and some little knots it helped to glide through them really quickly now i'm using a u-part wig so i'm not going to feel if there's any snagging coming direct from the scalp but i will say that it didn't feel like there was excess pulling or anything like that and it did actually detangle those sections the only thing that i would say is that it didn't actually smooth out the hair so actually using the wider bit one the gentle air attachment and a brush made it a little bit more smoother than using this comb i guess its reason is not really there to smooth out the hair but i would have liked if it was like one of the d3 picks that you can add to normal hair dryers those d3 picks you can add them and they actually help to smooth out the hair as they're blow drying it's very gentle and i think because the nozzles are um they're quite flexible so they're not like really really rigid even though they are a little bit they're quite thick but yeah this is this is a nice pick that's what we call them on the other blow dryers but yeah this was a nice one so the next attachment that I'm going to use is going to be the style concentrator and I'm going to use a paddle brush and a round blow dry brush I have to say, coming from someone who's very lazy when it comes to blow drying their own hair, this was surprisingly very quick and simple and easy and it didn't ache my arms at all. Um, so I really liked this because I felt like the heat was focused and the air was focused in one area. So often when you're blow drying this close to your face, you get kind of a blowback of some of that heat. It either goes on your hand or it will go on your actual face. And when I was blow drying this section at all, I didn't get any of that. So I really liked that. I liked that it was focused on one particular area and um, I didn't have to turn down the temperature or anything like that. I kept it on a hot heat. Sometimes when you're blow drying right near your face or really close to the root of your hair, you have to kind of reduce the temperature of it because you can feel that heat and it feels like it's burning your scalp or it's burning your face, but it wasn't like that at all. So I really liked this nozzle and using either the paddle brush or the blow dry brush, I liked them both. I'm gonna try out and see if I can create a curl. Now, kinky straight hair, if you're a hairdresser or someone who uses kinky straight hair, you know that it doesn't like to curl very well. You normally have to use a straightener or a curling wand and the curls drop out quite quickly. But I'm gonna blow dry this section here and see if I'm able to create a little curl. By the way, just got in town I won't let you in this cloud It's all in the sky Ruin my vibe Usually I don't do this often But since we're cool it did create a little curl. I actually think if I used the correct products in my hair and if I used smaller sections and maybe clipped it, then yeah, it would it would actually be able to put a little blow dry curl in kinky straight hair, which is actually quite impressive. Don't you? Just say you will, will, will come through 
I didn't actually cut this clip or edit it in any way. I wanted to see how, and I wanted you guys to see how it actually blow dries through natural hair because we know that hair extensions hair and your natural hair is gonna color different. It's gonna take product different. It's gonna blow dry and straighten different. And this flew through my hair. So I can only imagine when you're doing a whole head with that actual wide tooth comb attachment, you'll be able to blow dry your hair very, very quickly. I don't really, it's a lot of hair. I don't really have too many like flyaways in my hair. Um, but I'm gonna give this a try anyway. Let's see what it does. Let's go. this way but it doesn't it actually comes out the top which is very interesting because it actually has like the air vent is here but the heat just distributes and goes up that way so actually you only feel the air at the top part of it you don't actually feel any air coming out of here which is interesting also you know that bit on the end of a hair dryer this bit that you get on the end of the hair dryer where you put it on and all the air comes out of here. And if you're not careful, your hair will get like caught on it if you haven't got this guard on it. That is at the bottom. It's here. How interesting. I keep twisting it off accidentally. Yeah, sorry, it's the filter. The filter is at the bottom. Interesting. So finally guys, I have finished blow drying out my hair and testing out the Dyson blow dryer. Actually love it. So for professionals, I feel like it's very lightweight. Um, it dries hair very, very fast. So it will save you a ton of time and it wouldn't be irritating for you to kind of work through the client's hair um, when you're blow drying it because it doesn't weigh a lot. It's really kind of compact and quite easy to move around. Um, the attachments, they go on super, super easy. Um, they're really lightweight, quite clean. Um, I don't know about if you kind of accidentally put a hair straightener next to it, whether they would melt or not. And um, even for those at home, I would definitely invest in this hair dryer because if you're lazy like me and you don't like to take long to blow dry your hair, now this is 24 inches of kinky straight hair, which is a lot of hair. I think I've probably been filming maybe for about 30 minutes and that's with all of the sections. That's with my lights keep falling, um, the cameras keep cutting off, people keep making noise outside. And I think getting through the whole head maybe took me about 30 minutes to blow dry all of this hair because it blow dries it so fast. Um, so it it's very small so if you had it at home you can kind of roll it up and just put it in a drawer it's not going to get in your way and also if you're like me and um, your hands hurt when you're trying to blow dry your hair and keep your hands up it's such light weight that it's not going to kind of irritate you way down on your shoulder so I definitely rate this hair dryer so that is my final thoughts on the Dyson hairdryer. I will give it a five out of five. Definitely love that hairdryer and I might actually get some more for the girls and I to use in the salon. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. If you know anyone who's interested in our content, looking at all of our hair extensions tutorials and the new videos that I'm gonna be putting out, reviewing, 
products, tools, and equipment within the hair and beauty industry, then don't forget to forward these videos to them and also ask them to subscribe. If you have any products that you want us to review, then leave a comment below giving us some suggestions. And if you yourself have a product that you want us to review on this channel, then definitely leave a comment down below or send it straight to our address, which will be listed down below. Thank you guys for watching.